Oh my god. I got a few dead. So today's the day, the package, my tilapias are actually in Montreal. It got shipped from Toronto and I've been just refreshing the page all day for a period to see when it gets delivered. We didn't deliver it to my house. We didn't want the tilapia just sitting in the truck for all day, you know, going one house at a time for it to be delivered to my house. So we had it actually shipped at a center. On the parallel page, it shows that it's at the center. I'm trying to call them, no one's picking up, but it's here. The tilapias are here. I'm about to go pick them up in the next half an hour and I'll see you guys as soon as I get back. Just bought the box home from Pure Later. It's got all the tilapias. I haven't seen it. We're gonna be opening it together. I'm hoping there's no DOA. I'm hoping all the fish are alive. So let's open it together. All right, let's see. It's supposed to have 20 tilapias in here plus one kilogram of pellets for them. I'm just hoping they're all alive. All right, so inside. They, I see them. Just take this out. Hmm. So, okay. here's the food. One kilogram of three mm, three millimeters pellets. Okay. And here comes the fish. They all look alive. Put a doll on the floor. Did you know? Asha, we do? Here you go. And if you get to see, or if you get to see it properly, they all look alive so far. Oh my god! I got a few dead. I got. Two dead, what it looks like. Oh no, more than two. So, it's been a few days. I want to wait a few days before I make this segment of the video because I want to make sure all my tilapias were alive and they were healthy. So you saw that I did panic when I opened the box and the reason because when I took out the bag, at least four or five of the tilapias were lying on the side. I thought they were dead, that's why I panicked. So I quickly opened the bag because when you have a dead fish, you don't want to keep it with a living one. You want to remove it right away. And the reason because when a fish dies, it starts releasing toxins which are bad for the living fish. Maybe in an aquarium or a bag, remove it right away. So I quickly opened the bag and I want to remove the living ones. But as soon as I opened the bag, I saw the ones that were dead, that I thought they were dead, they started moving. So then I started realizing, okay, maybe they're not actually dead. So what happened was these fish, they were shipped from Toronto to Montreal overnight. So they've been in the box about 24 hours but the weather outside is super cold right now. In Montreal, right now it's around minus 12 degrees Celsius. The day I went to pick up the fish, I think it was around minus five or minus six degrees Celsius. And even though tilapias are very hardy fish, they could tolerate many different water parameter levels, even temperature, but when it starts getting super cold, that's when you start losing the fish. And that's why my tilapias, they weren't dead, they were stunned. So after putting the fish in the aquarium where the temperature is controlled, it's warmer temperature, I keep my aquarium around 25 degrees Celsius, anything between 25 to 28 degrees Celsius, all the fish started coming back alive. And I was super happy with that we didn't have any casualties this time around. So all my tilapias are alive, they're healthy, they're eating and pooping, pooping a lot actually, but they're all okay. So what I had ordered was 20 tilapias, that's the minimum order from that person that chipped it. 
and he was nice enough to send me three extra tilapias just in case of DOAs. I was able to count 21, but I'm sure there's 23. They just keep swimming around a lot, it's hard to count them, but I'm pretty sure there's 23 tilapias in my aquarium right now. For anyone saying that 23 tilapias is too much in my 30 gallon tank, you're sort of right. Right now, since they're only small, two inch fish, it's fine. As soon as they start growing up, I know I'm aware I have to get a second or a third tank just so I can separate them. But for now, for their size, they're fine. And now let's talk about the tank and why I haven't added any substrate. There's multiple reasons, three mainly. Number one, I know tilapias usually come up to eat, but my tilapias, maybe they're gonna get used to it later, but right now they've been eating from the bottom. So it's easy to leave it empty so they could easily find their food. Number two, Tilapias are mud brooders. Now, what does that mean? When my female tilapias lay babies, she will scoop them up with her mouth from the bottom of the tank and keep the babies in her mouth for a few days to a couple weeks. And it's easier to scoop the babies up and find the babies when there's no substrate at the bottom. And number three, it's easier to clean the tank. I get in with the water vacuum, clean it up, takes me a few minutes, it's done. So those are the reasons why I'm not adding any substrate to my aquarium. So that is it for this video. If you want to continue the journey with me and see these tilapias grow up, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.